All right, so here is a Howard Miller 340-020K, free apparently. And as you know, Howard Miller buys from Hermley. That is their serial number, 340-020. And what we have inside is an old movement. It's a scrap movement that our clock shop didn't want. The owner was just like, all right, you can have it. So thanks, Deb. Uh, the reason I wanted it is because of that floating balance. If you know about one of my clocks, it might be a little bit peculiar. It looks pretty similar to one that I have. And this is going to go on the W. Hade tradition mantle clock I have. Just in case you're curious, that is, this is a 1979 Howard Miller uh, Hermley. 340-020K. I don't know what that means. I think this is some kind of calendar function going on right here. Might be some kind of calendar. I don't know exactly how that is, but um, no power. So, it's crap. Okay, and here is the 340-020K with the balance we removed. As you can see, the pallets are not a part of the mechanism the mechanism is its own thing this is the old balance wheel and this is the new one so well newer i should say there's a six year difference between these movements this is 1973 and this is 1976 you can see this is where hermley started getting their crap together because the snail and the motion work and such is actually made out of brass and when you come over here, this is plastic motion work in a plastic uh, snail. So it's kind of bad. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put this new one in and see if it makes a difference. Well, there she goes. Oh, that took a lot of fiddling. The pallets, the pallet arm... Uh, the arm that connects the two pin pallets to the escapement, it was bent forward. I had to, I had to bend it, uh, I had to push it forward. Uh, it was bent backwards, I mean. And it was making it go tick, 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 way, way too fast. And the oscillation was bad, but I think this oscillation is slightly greater than the oscillation that I had with, uh, this one. Uh, this new one also floats a lot better, so I'm going to put it back in now and see it out. Well, there you have it. The new balance wheel is in. So now that the new balance wheel is in, I'm going to see about timing it in. Hopefully it had to do with the balance wheel being bad and not this bushing job that is just waiting to end up having to happen. Hopefully this will hold out the W. Hade movement until I have the funds for a 1051-020 with a 15 centimeter pendulum because screw balance wheels. Too much of a hassle. So here we go again. Forty-three. So, here's hoping it's going to keep time now. Well, here we are again, and it has in fact been keeping time. So that's cool. See, it's 58 minutes and nearly 30 seconds. Look at that. Very nice. So it's all good now. This one, it's actually a little fast. There we go. This one always runs a little fast. Okay, 
So, I think I can officially call this one fixed for now. Until I get a brand new Franz Hermley for it to just, you know, be in there. <clears throat> so, that's that. I'm trying to time this one in still. It's been quite a pain. But yeah, I'll catch you later.